Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here, and we're going to do a fourth video on crew points. So Brother Man had left in the comments that he wanted to understand what were the best categories to put your crew points in. So let's run through it. We're going to start off with fighters. So if you're using this crew slot for fighters, this is what you should do. So in Air Arcade, essentially, you definitely want to put your crew points in everything on the pilot tab. These are all important. On the defensive armament tab, you don't want to put crew points in any of this. Fighters don't have rear gunners, so by putting points here, you're basically just more or less wasting them. Under logistic services, um, you do want to put your crew points in reload speed and weapon maintenance. You do not want to use any crew points for repair speed or repair rank. Essentially, if you're going back to the airfield in Air Arcade to uh, reload and to get repaired, you're doing it wrong. Uh, the games are too short, so all that time that you spend going back to the airfield, that's inactive time in the game, you're better off just using your plane the best that you can, no matter how broken it is, and uh, try to get some kills and then bring a new plane in uh, once that one's done. Cool. Let's stick with fighters and let's talk about air realistic. So in air realistic battles, again, you're using fighters, you want everything on the pilot tab. Still, all this is important. On the defensive armament tab, still none of this is important because essentially you don't have a gunner, not going to do you any good. And for logistical services, all you want is weapon maintenance. So in Air RB, you're not going to be putting points in repair speed or repair rank because it really doesn't take that much longer to repair on the airfield. I think the minimum you can get down to is like 10 seconds and it starts at 30. And extra 20 seconds sitting there to repair versus being able to use those crew points in places that matter like weapon maintenance, you're better off not putting them here. So you can skip repair speed, repair rank, also reload speed. Um, and air realistic, it's not like air arcade where these magical trolls run out onto your wings and reload your ammo for you while you're flying. Uh, it's you have to go back to the airfield and to repair, reload, um, and refuel. So you really aren't going to need any points here. Just stick with weapon maintenance and you should be good to go. All right, sticking on fighters still, we're going to talk about ground RB. So now you're going to be taking fighters up and ground RB. That's all you're going to use that slot for. So for this one, you don't need keen vision. Essentially, there are no markers. You don't get to see somebody when they're five kilometers away in ground RB. You just see a dot on your screen and keen vision and awareness both are not going to change when that dot shows up. So you can save your crew points for the places where you need them and skip these two. Again, skip defensive armament. You don't have any gunners. And on the logistic services, you still want weapon maintenance. And similar to air realistic, you don't need to put any points towards repair speed, repair rank, or reload speed. So just weapon maintenance on here if you're going to be using fighters and ground RB. All right, now let's talk about bombers. So for the bombers, um, essentially in Air Arcade, pretty much everything's important. The only thing, so everything on the pilot tab is important. Now you do have gunners. And especially in Air Arcade, they can be pretty accurate. They start firing at about a kilometer out. Um, and they can get kills for you while you're just focused on bombing. So you don't even have to focus on that. Just let AI do its thing. On logistic services, again, you don't need repair speed or repair rank. You shouldn't be going back to the airfield to reload or do anything like that. It happens in the air. Uh, you do want reload speed and weapon maintenance because a reload speed will get your bombs back faster. Um, and weapon maintenance will make your bombs more accurate. So stick to those okay so for realistic battles with bombers a um, few changes here so you do want to put points into keen vision and awareness so you can see things that are you know farther away um, you do not need to put points in g-tolerance and stamina because these two items essentially if you're pulling that many g's in a bomber it tends to happen that your wings are going to rip so you shouldn't be pulling a lot of g's in a bomber you should be pretty much, you know, on a, on a steady course all the time. Uh, so you can skip those two vitality. You do definitely want to put points in too. On defensive armament for bombers and air RB. So in air arcade, your gunners start to shoot at targets that come up behind you about a kilometer away. In Air RB, it's only like 0.3 kilometers away, which is way too late to really do anything effective. So you do not want to rely on your AI gunners. If you're playing Air RB, you want to go into the gunner slot when somebody's behind you and take care of it yourself. So some of these items here, fire accuracy and fire precision, 
are basically only for using AI, so those are not important. You can skip putting crew points in these if you're an error being a bomber. You do still want G-tolerance, stamina, and vitality. These you could maybe skip, but you definitely don't want anything happening to your gunners that makes them not available to, to be putting some fire down range. So um, I would put it in this one, um, even though I said not for the pilot. And then vitality, obviously, you definitely want. I mean, they're the first ones who are going to get shot when a plane's behind you. So you definitely want that. For logistics services, um, basically same as before. So repair speed, repair rank and reload speed. You can skip all these. They're not going to do you any good. Um, it's okay to take the extra 20 seconds to, you know, rearm, refuel, and repair on the runway. And weapon maintenance, you definitely do want to put your crew points in. So this one's important. This is going to you know, not only will, well, it's essentially just going to make your bombs more accurate. It's really what's going to do for you. All right. So let's talk about ground vehicles. So now we're going to talk about tanks and SPAAs. And then next we'll talk about tank destroyers after this. So for tanks and SPAAs and ground arcade, essentially, yes, you want everything on the driver. Um, you want, the one thing you can skip on the gunner one is range finding. I'm a strong believer that you're better off figuring out the range yourself and you know you're gonna miss in the beginning but figure it out over time because I mean you want to be able to take shots and figure out well he's about you know a kilometer away and take your shot and if you miss typically they're not gonna be able to find you and shoot back in time anyway you can just adjust the dust and put your shot on target on the next one and eventually you're gonna get a pretty good eye for it and you're gonna be hitting them on your first shot anyway um, everything in tank commander, tank loader, absolutely. Radio operator, gunner, yes. Um, going back to logistics services, repair speed and repair rank, you can skip. This is only going to affect your in hangar repair time. It's not going to affect your repair time in the game. So your repair time there is based on the points that you put in field repair. So if somebody shoots you and you know your module is broken and, and you've got to repair your vehicle, that happens here. It does not happen on the repair speed repair rank under logistical services. This is just when you're in the hangar. And if you don't have it set up already, uh, best way to do this is just auto repair every time. Spend the silver lions. Um, don't wait the, you know, it says two hours, 54 minutes for this one. Um, just go ahead and spend the silver lines and get everything repaired immediately. Okay, so moving over to staying on tank and SPAA, but now talking about ground realistic battles. There's one thing that you can skip across the board, and it's going to be on all these tabs, and that's keen vision. So you're not going to have a marker like you are in ground arcade that says how far away somebody is and what their name is and, you know, their dog's name and all that stuff. All you're going to see is a tank in the distance. This is not going to make you see them any quicker. So don't worry about putting any crew points here. Um, you will do the rest of these under the driver. You definitely want. Again, range finding you can skip. You want to just figure that out yourself. Um, keen vision you're skipping, but you are putting points under gunner, under field repair, agility, vitality, and targeting. You do want to put your points there. Tank Commander, skip Keen Vision, and go ahead and put points in the other four categories here. Tank Loader again, skip Keen Vision. Do put your points in the other four, Field Repair through Weapon Reloading. Under the Radio Operator Gunner, uh, again, skip Keen Vision. Do put your points and everything else. Radio Communication, so this is the one, not Keen Vision, that's going to help you detect enemy players that your allies are near so that they show up on the mini map for you. So Keen Vision isn't gonna do you any good, but this one is important so that you can see, you know, somebody who's on the map that a teammate shot um, further away than you could without putting, having put points here. Gistical services, again, in ground RB, don't put any points towards repair speed or repair rank. It's not gonna do you any good. That's just the in hangar time. It's not gonna affect, um, affect how quickly your vehicle repairs out in the field. And then tank destroyers, um, talk about those for a second. So pretty much the same as tank and SPAA. The one difference is you don't need artillery targeting accuracy or artillery strike calling time. So if you're just using this slot for tank destroyers, you're never going to get artillery. So you don't need to waste your crew points here when you can be using them somewhere else. The rest of that is again, range finding. Um, you can skip 
you want to get used to doing that yourself. And you can definitely skip repair speed and repair rank. That's just when you're in the hangar, so it doesn't do you very much good. And then same thing on tank destroyers for ground RB, which is you can skip keen vision. You can skip range finding. Everything in tank commander other than keen vision you want. Everything in tank loader other than keen vision. Radio operator, you can skip keen vision and the two artilleries. Or so you just put crew points in field repair, agility, vitality, and radio communication on this one. And then again, logistic services. Uh, you can just skip repair speed and repair rank altogether. So hopefully this helps you so that um, you don't end up wasting crew points in places where you don't need them. Again, just going back to the previous videos, make sure that you have enough crew points across the board to be able to expert your vehicles. So if you want to do what we talked about in this video and just kind of be more specific about where you're going to put them, um, you need to probably move a little bit slower down the tech tree to make sure that you have enough to expert your vehicles every time. So anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, uh, subscribe. Next week, I intend to put out a video on energy fighting. So we're going to be talking about planes. We're going to talk about, you know, the first of three videos on energy fighting. We'll start with beginner. If there's something you guys want to see other than that first, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll work on that first. All right, guys. Thanks. Catch you on the next one.